Jacob, welcome to Echo Nights 2017. What have you got in store for us here? It's great to see you. You know, tonight, I'm not going to be performing an illusion. I'll be performing the world's deadliest straight jacket escape at 140 feet high in the air where the danger is real. A hey, straight jacket, that's where you're bound tight, you're buckled, your arms are crossed, it's physically impossible to move, and you're in the jaws of death here. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Absolutely. Let me tell you this. Everybody, take out your phones right now. Turn on your video cameras, because if I make it out alive tonight, what you're going to see will be a world first, and you'll have a piece of history right there on your phone. Wish me luck. Well, he wants to go and make some history. He's a confident man. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Powers. Let's get you ready for it. This is a world first. Let's give you a rundown of what is known as the Jaws of Death. You can see them in Center Arena and on the big screen here tonight. Sam is now about to be buckled nice and tight, as you can see, inside a regulation straight jacket. His arms will be crossed. He will be bound at the very back by many number of straps, which make it physically impossible to move. Sam's job is now to escape this straight jacket, but that is not where the jaws of death end, ladies and gentlemen. He will be hung 140 feet in the air, nice and tight by his ankles. We will hang him upside down above People's Day at Echo Nights 2017. It will be Sam's job to make sure he gets out alive. And what is holding the jaws of death open is a rope. Rope which will be set on fire. This rope could take approximately two minutes to burn, but the forces of nature will dictate that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Once it burns through, it will crush anything inside the jaws of death. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that anything could be Sam Powers. And to make it just that little bit tougher, ladies and gentlemen, Sam, in rehearsals, had a very bad injury, which could mean he nearly chokes to death. He fractured his rib cage and tore his abdominal muscles. If the fractured rib cage does any damage up there tonight and punctures his lungs, we will see the end of Sam Powers if the jaws of death don't take care of him first. Ladies and gentlemen, please understand the escape stunt you are about to see is extremely dangerous. Sam Powers is a highly trained professional and you should not attempt to take this on at home or to imitate anything you are about to see. As we lower the jaws of death for the final time, we will strap Sam in by his ankles. We will then raise him in the Tingalpa Crane Higher Crane up 140 feet and swing him around the Ecker Knights Arena. All this while a burning rope is taking maybe more, maybe less than two minutes. As we say, the forces of nature will dictate how much time Sam has to make a world first straight jacket escape. Can he do it, Queensland? We will find out in mere seconds as Sam Powers attempts the jaws of death. The jaws are lit on fire. Sam is ready to go. Here we go. Sam begins, him is being hoisted nice and high, up to 140 feet in the air. Look to the big screen. You can see the live footage from the GoPro, which is hanging from the jaws of death at the moment. Look at Sam trying to escape. His arms are crossed right now. This makes it near physically impossible to get out of this. What he must do is find a way to uncross his arms. He then needs to get to the back of this straitjacket. That's where he'll find straps, ladies and gentlemen. He needs to get rid of these straps. Surely he's got most of 90 seconds left to do this. But then again, this rope is burning towards the jaws of death. The wind speed, we have to factor that in as well, ladies and gentlemen. Because he could well close these jaws shut before Sam even has time to run in to get himself done from his ankle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what's Sam? He's got some straps free. Oh, man, but the time is ticking. We've surely got less than 60 seconds now. Surely 45 seconds remain here, ladies and gentlemen. Sam, I don't know what he's doing up there. There's not much movement. He might just be stuck, ladies and gentlemen. This could be very, very dangerous. As he said, the danger is real. He's going to start crashing now. He's got to find a way out somehow. He's got to get this straight jacket off. It's nearly impossible. Look at the arm. They're free, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, though, he then has to use every single piece of energy in his body to reach up and untie his ankle from the jaws of death. That rope is burning. Can he get the jacket? Oh, he's got it. Surely there's less than 15 seconds remaining. Sam, you can do it. Can he get there, Queensland? He's got to reach up. He's struggling. Look at his arms. Less than five seconds. This may not happen. Queensland, we could be about to... Oh, he's done it. 
Queensland, it's time to give it up for Sam Powers! (laughs) 